hello everyone welcome to add yourself in this video we are going to see what are system fields and custom fields and we understand the basic difference between system versus custom all right let me open word now we are talking about the fields right jira application issues are made up of fields you can choose any number of fields to appear when creating, editing or transitioning issues. Now, all right. Now, let me navigate to the Jira. Now, we have imagined that we have created a number of projects, right? Let me uh, quickly open one of the project. It might be HR onboarding. As soon as we create, as soon as we open the create issue screen, when we choose the project and when we choose the issue type i can see a screen right and on the screen we can see a number of fields i can see summary i can see components i can see attachments we will be able to place these fields on the create issue screen on the view issue screen on the edit issue screen or even while the workflow is being transitioned from one status to another status now what is a system field it's very simple. The fields that are given by Jira by default are known as system fields. And if, if we do not have a field and if we have to create a new field that are not given by Jira by default, we can call them as a custom field. So now you might get a doubt, right? What are the different type of system fields that we have in Jira or maybe given by Jira? So these are the default are the system fields given by Jira. We do have summary, epic name, epic link, description, components, priority, and few other linked issues, attachments, labels, time tracking, log work, assignee, reporter, comments, effect versions, fixed versions, story points, print, status, resolution created, updated, and due date. These are the system fields given by Jira. As we can see, Every Jira instance provides a number of out-of-box system fields. They are designed to collect and carry the information necessary to build issues. Now either your project might belong to the banking sector, it might be belongs to HR, it might be belongs to any other healthcare domain. So irrespective of the domain, there are few fields that we can make and use of it. If we want to create an issue, we have to write the summary, right? This is irrespective of any project we can make and use of the summary. If we want to enter the description, we can do that. If we want to set the priority, we can. If we want to attach any kind of attachments, we can do that. If we want to categorize the issues, we can make and use of the components. If we want to assign the issue, we can assign it by making and use of the assigning system field. And we can add the comments. So all these system fields can be used irrespective of the project background. Now if we want to create a custom fields, we are going to create in Jira by making and use of the custom field. So in simple terms, the fields that are not given by Jira are called as custom fields. So in the upcoming class, we will be seeing how to create a custom field and what are the things that we have to keep in mind while creating a custom field because if I navigate to Jira, I can see the summary is a plain text field, right? With, with no options, nothing. I can type anything in the summary. In the same way, when I click on components, it something looks like a drop down. If we do have the component values, we can see the list of options. At the same time, if I click on fixed versions, again, if we have the fixed version, I will be able to pull the drop down the same applicable to priority the drop down has been there but when i have a look at the description maybe if i click on the assignee i will be able to select the user list it means each and every field in jira has its own field type so now while creating a custom field what are the type of things that we have to keep in mind we have to choose the field type and then we have to give the values in it. So each and everything that belongs to the custom field will be given in the next video. So I hope everybody in the team or people who is watching the video might have understand the basic difference between 
what is a system field and what is a custom field. If you find the video helpful, please uh, leave us a like button and please share it with your friends who you would uh, really would like to and also please subscribe to the channel for many more good videos that are related to Jira. I see you all in the upcoming video shortly. Thank you very much.